Hey, hey, hey. So today we are going to talk about Emotion. So Emotion is this cool CSS and JS library. Um, I recently, so I, I built Glamorous, which you can find here at Glamorous Rocks. And uh, it's, it's cool, it's fun, I like it a lot. Um, and if you haven't used CSS and JS before, you're probably going to ask me why would I ever do that. Mark um, Glash is, no. Um, Let's see, CSS, JS, Medium, it's gonna be around here somewhere. He wrote a unified styling language, a really great blog post. I'll make sure to add that to the description of this video. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the why around CSS and JS. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that today. What I, so I deprecated my Glamorous library um, in favor of emotion because emotion can do everything that um, Glamorous could do and more and I didn't want to Waste time updating Glamorous to be as good as emotion because emotion exists. So just uh, do emotion stuff. So Anyway, one of the things that uh, Glamorous had is the CSS prop um, on built-in components and it's really awesome um, and emotion also has this but you have to use the uh, Babel plugin, which is right here. So um, yeah, so the Babel plugin is really cool. You just like install it into your project and you get a bunch of stuff and this is the CSS prop thing. So one of the nice things about the CSS prop um, is like with, with styled components or with emotion, like react emotion, you're gonna be like const link equals uh, styled div or div and then here are my styles, right? Um, I don't want to give name to every single thing that I have, like often you'll have um, styled link. So the styled version of this component and stuff, it's like super annoying to name all of this stuff. So I like the CSS prop. It's like, I just have a, like a couple of props. Uh, some of them are like pseudo selectors, so I can't use the inline styles. Um, and so, yeah, I want I want to be able to use the CSS prop. The problem is that you can't always use the Babel plugin. Um, like with Create React app, you can't add a Babel plugin. With Code Sandbox, you can't add a Babel plugin. Um, that might not be true, but I I haven't been able to figure out how to add a, a Babel plugin to Code Sandbox. So there's that. Um, so if we look at the Babel plugin emotion, uh, we've got a bunch of things. This convenient helper for calling CSS. So if we go down here to where it talks about this, it has also this Babel macros. And you're like, oh sweet, what's Babel macros? Well, go um, just go Google Babel plugin macros, go look that up, it's great. Um, if you aren't subscribed to my newsletter, um, then you can subscribe to it here because this last issue was about Babel plugin macros and how to write your own. So, uh, and it had some resources to talk about what Babel plugin macros even is. So right here. Um, so anyway, it's pretty great. Uh, go check that out. Um, so Emotion has a um, plugin or the uh, macro for Babel plugin macros. The problem is that uh, it does not support the CSS prop. Currently, every API except for the CSS prop is supported by the macro. Boo! So it makes sense because uh, yeah, it's a different kind of transform. So, and actually now I think about it, they could probably make it work. Um, so that's something to contribute back. Um, so anyway, we're kind of stuck. We can't, I, I can't do like CSS equals uh, color is red or like um, even better, let's do um, this inside of a hover. So it uh, changes the color to red on hover, right? So that's not gonna work, which is too bad. Um, it would work if we had the Babel plugin. So here's what we can do. We can import CSS from Emotion. And I've got Emotion installed here already. And then uh, we're gonna do a little bit of trickery. So I'm actually gonna alias this as emo CSS. Then I'm gonna make a CSS function that takes all the args and returns a class name CSS or emo CSS all the args. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, this isn't really cool, like, like it's not really a CSS prop, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread a call to CSS. And now, uh, what happened? Now I probably have my 
Billy braces mixed up. We're going to need another one of those. There we go. And now it works. Ta-da. So it's like, it's not quite as ergonomic as a CSS prompt, but it's pretty close. And now I don't have to create a styled H1. And like, to be perfectly honest, this is not probably going to be as fast as um, as it would if I like extracted it and made it its own component and stuff. And, and I I'm pretty sure that there are some optimizations that we might miss out here. I don't know, maybe, maybe um, yeah, probably not. But it's going to be like lickety split fast anyway, and especially in scenarios where you're not re-rendering something really fast, like on the fly a lot. Like we're gonna re we're gonna render this thing once, so who cares if it's um, if it's super fast? So anyway. Um, so when I'm in code sandbox, this is what I do. Um, if I'm in an environment where I can't use the um, uh, add a Babel plugin myself, then this is what I do because I prefer this over making named components everywhere. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Ah.